Tim, thanks so much. Just because you are back to work doesn't mean that you are immune to unemployment fraud. A woman who is no longer unemployed says after she saw our story last night about hackers plaguing the unemployment system, she caught fraudsters on her old account. On your side, Jocelyn Howard tells us this woman's warning to any of you who claimed unemployment during the pandemic. They got four weeks. A total of more than $1,600 claimed under Geraldine Taylor's name. It's just super scary. Taylor saw a story we aired yesterday showing how unemployment hackers are running rampant and you need to be on guard. I had gone on there after I saw your article. Taylor checked her account information and sure enough, payments were being routed to the hacker's bank account. Been changed to the JP Chase Morgan account. The hacker claimed these four weeks while Taylor was happily working. For claimants that are back to work, that shouldn't deter them from checking their Connect accounts. When claimants go back to work, they just stop claiming benefits. Their accounts aren't shut down, which means if a hacker gets in, they can continue to claim weeks. If you find that your account has been hacked, report it to the Department of Economic Opportunity right away. Though many stop there, unemployment expert Vanessa Burrito says there are extra steps you can take. Follow up with complaints to the Department of Justice and the Secret Service because both have uh, COVID fraud units. Units created to tackle unemployment fraud happening nationwide. They will put pressure on DEO and they will put pressure on the state to kind of follow up on that fraudulent claim. But most importantly, be proactive so it doesn't get to this point. Don't forget to check your account when Jocelyn says check, check. No matter what, when they tell you to check, check it. You're not immune. When Jocelyn says check, check, right? Yeah, that's a good advice. You know, First Coast News has been covering the unemployment maze since the very beginning of this big mess. From fixing glitches with your unemployment accounts to stopping hackers from getting your money. Jocelyn also taking your concerns straight to the governor of Florida. And Jocelyn is live with us right now. And Jocelyn, I just can't believe these problems keep cropping up. Like, what is next? And when you started this Facebook group, it was small at the beginning, right? Not anymore. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty small and it actually started pretty local here. I would say now it's statewide. I mean, whenever you think about how many people were unemployed during the pandemic, I mean, it's a lot. And I mean, a lot of them have gone back to work, but a lot of them still are fighting for their payments. That Facebook group that we started probably started, you know, trickling in at 40, 100, 150. And then as the weeks went on, it really built. Now I'd say we're, I think we're close to about 7,000 participants now. And it's really taken on a life of its own. It's kind of cool to see how it grew. I don't think that we really anticipated what it ended up happening to be. Um, basically, we, we started it for people to have a safe space to speak with each other, you know, maybe vent a little bit about what's going on in their lives. But it turned into them bringing their problems, you know, this happened to me, this happened to me, and we get to see all in one week maybe, oh, all these people are getting hacked. All of these people have their accounts locked. And so because of that, we actually get to see what the problems are for that week. We can try and solve those problems and get those answers back to them. It's really turned into a pretty cool thing. And then last thing I got for you, what I really enjoy about it is the people that have been on there for a little while. Maybe some have even gone back to work that I still speak to that know the problems going on with the system, know some ways around some problems, and they've taken it upon themselves in that group to help each other. Um, so it's not just us trying to help them. It's really turned into a pretty cool community. Yeah, that's pretty neat, Jocelyn. And look down at the bottom of your screen. You can be a part of this. If you're thinking that might help me, it might. It might really be a good thing for you. Navigating Florida's <laughs> unemployment maze, you could join in too. Jocelyn, thank you for all the work. You never give up on this stuff, so thanks so much. Katie? <laughs>